Jai Sonkar, Assistant Professor at Amity University, Rajasthan, uh, on the behalf of Amity School of Hospitality. I welcome you in this webinar on the role of artificial intelligence in hospitality and tourism post COVID-19. Very first, uh, I would like to introduce Director Amity School of Hospitality, Dr. Sanjeev Pal, sir. Dr. Sanjeev Pal, sir, is an accomplished, accomplished dynamic professional with over 22 years of cross-functional experience in the hospitality sector and academics. He has completed his PhD in tourism management and written two books and several research papers in this area of tourism, customer handling, service handling, skill, and different scope in tourism product development. He is a member of Institute of Hospitality UK, GSTC, Global Sustainable Tourism Council USA, Vice Chairperson of Indian Society for Training and Development, Jaipur, and Vice President of Society of Hospitality Education, Peters. Apart from traveling to various countries for academic reasons like Switzerland, uh, Oman, Dubai, Nepal, Bangladesh, he has also been conferred with various awards. Presently, he is the Director, School of Hospitality Management at MIT University, Rajasthan. Uh, over to you, Dr. Sanjeev Pal, sir. Kindly. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Jai Sonkar. Uh, thank you for the long introduction you have given, but uh, today actually is the day of our honorable guest speaker who has uh, been present with us from uh, a country like Egypt and uh, on behalf of our founder chancellor and behalf of our chancellor sir, on behalf of our pro vice chancellor and on behalf of all the team members of Amity University, I would like to extend a hearty welcome to Dr. Mohammed Nawil for taking out his precious time and uh, be a part of this wonderful webinar where the topic which we have chosen, the role of artificial intelligence in hospitality and tourism is a very, very apt topic uh, today when the whole entire world is suffering from this uh, pandemic and the situation arising from that. Uh, just for our viewers, I would like to uh, say that artificial intelligence is something which has really revolutionized the total industry. So, and uh, at Amity University also, uh, Dr. Nabil, we have uh, taken almost to the tune of uh, more than 18,000 online classes from the day this pandemic has started in India, like uh, from say mid of March. So we waited just for two days. We have taken two days halt from our academic uh, delivery system. And within two days, we entirely shifted ourselves to technology. And again, we have started with online classes. And today, almost 20,000 online classes have been taken only at Amity University, Jaipur. And if I talk about our entire uh, range of all the 11 universities, we have done more than 2,000 webinars. And at Amity University, Jaipur itself, we have touched almost 100 webinars in various departments. So what I want to say is this artificial intelligence is a call for the day. And we all have to walk and embrace these new changes which are going to come forward. Initially, in our hotel industry, also everything used to be done manually. And now, for the last few years, artificial intelligence has taken over in, in, in big, big ways. Right away, starting from reservation to guest service to the wow factor which we wanted to give to our guests. So today, my dear viewers and my dear students and faculties who are attending this webinar, I'd like to say that we have got a wonderful speaker with us today, Dr. Mohammad Nabil, who is doing a lot of research on artificial intelligence and its role on today's hospitality industry, how things are changing and what we can expect from the industry post COVID. So without wasting much time, I'm sure that all of you are very much keen to hear from Dr. Nabil. I hand over the session to our moderator, Professor Jay Sonkar, you are requested to kindly introduce Dr. Nabil and hand over the session to him. Thank you so much. Over to you, Jay. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm so pleased to be with you all and I have to have the opportunity to introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Mohammed Ahmed Nabil Shaban Al Sayed. He is an associate professor, faculty of tourism and hotel uh, department, Alexandria University. He is certified hospitality trainer by American Hotel and Lodging Educational Institute in front office. 
He has completed various projects for the Alexandria University. He was chief consultant for Egypt Japan University Hospitality Project. He is visiting faculty for Kazakhstan State University. He has been one of the main pro uh, proponents of various hospitality program in Alexandria University. Besides mentoring and training and teaching, he also has designed various courses, including business administration, entrepreneurship, accounts, basic cost accounting, etc. Uh, he has also supervised PhD and master thesis and conducted research on the HRM organization behavior and marketing, along with the lots of subjects. Uh, he, he is also deputy manager of quality assurance and accreditation unit and head of the internal audit committee. He's too outstanding in his field. He has a great understanding of the program and great appreciation of what it makes to truly make hospitality and tourism industry. Continue on a path of progress and a remarkable vision of future role of artificial intelligence in hospitality and tourism post COVID. Finally, he's also just a fascinating person and we are all in for a treat today. Without further ado, please join me in welcoming uh, from Amit University, Rajasthan to Dr. Mohammed Nabil Shaban. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Dr. Saab. Please show us path of knowledge. Over to you, Dr. Nabil. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's morning in Egypt, but it's afternoon in India. I'm so glad and honored uh, to be with you today. I'm glad and honored to be invited by Dr. Jay and Dr. Sanjeev. Uh, to collaborate with Amity University in this very interesting topic. It's something which is ahead of the curve already in, in, uh, in the hospitality uh, industry. Uh, and I'm not going to give a lot of introduction about the topic because I mean already our uh, wonderful professors, Dr. Sanjeev and Dr. Jay have already uh, introduced it. Uh, so uh, now we are going to, uh, to talk That's our uh, our topic. My name again is Mohammed Nabil. I am an associate professor in Faculty of Tourism and Hotels, Alexandria University uh, in Egypt. So, what I'm going to talk, what I'm going to, uh, I mean, to uh, be concerned about, how are artificial intelligence and other new trends are related to COVID-19 or to similar crises that might face the tourism and hospitality industry? What is artificial intelligence is even all about? Well, we have to bear, in, to bear in mind that it's not just about new technology and improved automation capacities. AI is about the only constant in our lives, which is change. And usually with every change, there is a chance, a chance for customer engagement, a chance for uh, better service, a chance for, uh, for uh, profitability, uh, a chance for streamlining and facilitating operations. And that's why organizations need to change. So artificial intelligence represents that inevitable change. And while COVID-19 compelled that change as being urgent for hospitality and tourism. And here is our outline. We, were, we have a small introduction followed by artificial intelligence utilization or trends or solutions on, in hospitality and tourism. After that, what are hotels and hotel companies are up to? How are hotels responding to that trend? Next, we are going to talk about impact of COVID-19 on the adoption of artificial intelligence. Then we will have, however, what should we do at last as uh, graduates and students of hospitality programs? First of all, over time, I mean, let's see this, that quote of Google's CEO, Sundar Bichai. Over time, the computer itself will be an intelligent assistant helping you through your day. We will move from mobile first to an AI first world. And the good news is, the computer or AI is not something which substitutes you as a human. It is an, it just, just an intelligent assistant. And anything that puts AI out of that frame, an intelligent assistant, will be wrong. And we will see why throughout this session. 
what happened to hospitality operations in the last 10 years? We saw the biggest change in the internet since it began. We can consider those internet changes and updates as being the new industrial revolution in the world. What's so interesting is that we are just at the very beginning of everything. We will never be here again. So why should we care? Why should businesses and hospitality businesses in particular would, even, would ever need to change or to adapt or to think about adoption of artificial intelligence? It is the consumer decision journey. Why businesses need to change? Throughout those examples, we can see that many new applications and many new uh, services have killed other, other old models and I mean, I mean, not used anymore. I mean, normal, normal taxes have been killed by Uber. Netflix has killed Blockbuster, but not just an, a, a, an application that killed another application. Is that uh, the point is that uh, new applications and new solutions, they cared about customers. I mean, being non-customer centric is the biggest threat and the biggest killer to any business. And that's what, it, what AI, artificial intelligence, provides us an opportunity to strengthen our relationship with our customers. The internet and AI has found their way to every stage in consumers' purchase decision down to all uh, subsequent operations and communications, even after finishing the stay. So, guest-centric hoteliers must effectively leverage and maximize the use of this new opportunity to improve their guest engagement and problem resolution. Next, we are going to think about artificial intelligence trends and functions in hospitality and tourism. The first one is the use of artificial intelligence-powered robotics to deliver personal service. Uh, like uh, uh, robots in the front desk, uh, performing check-in and check-out information, uh, room service and housekeeping to provide guests with meals and with uh, room amenities in their rooms. We have already examples of, and very interesting examples of that, and you can Google it. I mean, for example, there is uh, uh, an AI report called Connie. It's adopted by Hilton for concierge-related functions in the uh, lobby. Uh, also, uh, Amadeus has a robot which is called 1A2TA, which is able to immediately respond to customers during busy periods, so that when customers can talk to he real human agents, so that human agents can already know about the customers and their basic requests. The other thing is chatbots and smart messaging. Chatbots are AI programs that conduct conversations with humans through chat interfaces and platforms like, such as social media, uh, allowing customers to ask basic questions, frequently asked questions. And the, uh, the uh, uh, advantage of chatbots and smart messaging is that uh, they are available 24-7 and uh, especially uh, out of the working hours of uh, core centers and uh, organizations. What is good about chatbots and messaging is that it can be driven by machine learning to understand languages and it learns and it goes along. There are many suits and uh, there are many already solutions like Helix uh, developed by a, a company called Micrometrics. This uh, solution or this application, this messaging application focuses on creating a channel of communication, a two-way channel of communication, so that to, to encourage uh, guests to, to uh, spill out their concerns, their problems, their suggestions, so that, uh, uh, so that the human staff can know in advance if there is some kind of complaint and deal with it in a timely manner. The third uh, trend on the third function of AI is data analysis which is something away from pure direct guest contact. Data analysis is another stream of AI. In this capacity, the technology can be used to quickly sort through large amounts of data and draw important conclusions about customers or even about potential customers, their needs and wants, 
their uh, choices and how to uh, tailor our products and services to their choices. An example of data analysis is Metis AI platform utilized within the Dorchester collection hotel chain. The fourth trend is virtual reality and the fifth is augmented reality. Here, the virtual reality and augmented reality, here comes the beautiful science fiction-like cinematic components of the AI. Among the best current uses of virtual reality are virtual reality travel experiences and virtual reality hotel tours. They provide the potential guests with an opportunity to go through the uh, uh, planned destination sightseeing while he is staying at home so that to, to, to determine if you would like to go to that destination or not. And also it gives you an opportunity to make a virtual tour of your planned hotel uh, facilities and outlets and even rooms and the views of rooms and the contents of the room so that if you are uh, planning to book in a, in a hotel, then virtual tours would help you to decide something like that. Also, there are virtual assistants performing room in room services. I mean, after you already, after the guest already checks in the, the hotel, there are virtual assistants inside the room, the, the, uh, inside the rooms, operated through smart TVs, smart mirrors, and virtual voice assistants for locking and unlocking of the safe, using the phone, controlling lights uh, on and off, uh, curtains, coffee machines, TV, Wi-Fi, air condition, and so on. And here comes also the interesting augmented reality. Interactive hotel rooms, such as interactive wall maps. I mean, they function as digital brochures where you can see the sightseeing of the city around the hotel with relation to the hotel position using the GPS and also to, uh, to act as a brochure for other hotels, services and outlets and operating hours and the products that each uh, outlet provides. Whereby pointing your smartphone at the map with two additional information about local places of interest or about what the hotel offers. Augmented hotel environment is also a very in interesting uh, application that make the hotel environment more enjoyable to spend time in. Examples of hotel augmented environment is that Holiday Inn created an augmented reality hotel experience which allowed guests to point their smartphones at some places and see realistic virtual depiction like holograms of famous celebrities in the hotel. Meanwhile, Best Western hotels experimented with augmented reality and Disney stars, allowing children to see themselves alongside their, uh, their preferred characters from Disneyland and Disney World. The sixth part or the sixth example of AI trends is self-service technologies. The common examples of self-service technologies are lobby kiosks, for checking in guests, obtaining information and checking out, restaurant table side ordering, entertainment and payment through a tablet which is built in into the table. Also, you can order or a guest can order hotels products and services using the hotel specific mobile application. And last, but of course not least, uh, of the AI trends and functions is the biometric authentication which is also very science fiction-like. It's based on using the guest's fingerprint, face, eye, voice recognition, and identification for online booking. I mean, you don't have to register each time you go to, uh, to, uh, to, to a specific application or to a specific website by using your email and password and so on. It's just you take a selfie and then you upload it to a specific site and then each time you want to log into that site, you just make uh, face recognition or fingerprint each time you would like to, to go to that specific website for online booking, for checking in, for checking out, for opening your own guest room through your face recognition. And by that, you don't need to have manual contact with the doorknob. Identifying yourself upon accessing various outlets. I mean, you don't need each time you go to your breakfast, to take your breakfast in, in the coffee shop, so to have someone asking you what's your name, sir, what's your room, sir, it's just there is, there is face recognition 
that recognizes your face and recognizes that you are uh, a, a guest within that hotel and it allows you to go uh, easily to that place and finally payment and there are already uh, wonderful applications that you, that you can use to pay with your own face. So after we have seen that um, interesting uh, applications of artificial intelligence, what are hotels and hotel companies up to? How did they respond? The successful implementation of digital tools and high-end technology represents the way forward to more cost-effective operations. There are ways in which machines have been cooking up a storm in hospitality and tourism. First is rethinking and reconsidering staffing needs, increasing operational efficiency, enhancing the overall guest experience, and the brand-specific app, for example, if there is an app application, mobile application, which is for Hilton, for Sheraton, so and so, is a simple and effective way for engaging guests from the moment they do search and the plan for a vacation until even after they stay, and help reinforce the organization loyalty and reward programs. According to Moodle AI, which is uh, a company uh, specified in, in uh, AI solutions for hotels uh, and uh, hospitality establishments, um, major hotel companies stack up for AI. Can you see all those companies, all those well-known companies around the world, they, they stack together, they, they, they stand in a row in order to get AI applications for their establishments. And can you imagine all these companies have uh, made, uh, I mean, have, or have adopted uh, solutions from a single company, which is Moodle AI, and, there, and this was three years ago. This was of October 2017. So imagine the situation now, three years later. In fact, according to a research conducted in 2018, it's still two years ago by Starfleet Research in partnership with Oracle Hospitality. 76 of, hotel, uh, of hoteliers have already invested in, uh, in AI or are going, or we're going to invest in more AI applications. And remember, this was already two years ago. Imagine the situation now. Also from the same study, those are more statistics that shows that more and more hoteliers and hospitality operators and practitioners agree or even strongly agree that artificial intelligence powered technology and applications can help the organization to satisfy the guests, enhance his experience, uh, provide a time, time, timely, uh, timely manner handling with guests requests and guests uh, services. So, as a result of that, we, can, we start even to see hotels and restaurants that decided to go by the trend and operate a fully automated concept, such as the Henna Hotel in Japan, a delivery restaurant in Hong Kong, Smart LYZ Hotel in China, and Utels New York Hotel. And this photo, by the way, is a courtesy of Henna Hotel in Japan. And that girl, she is not, she is not human. She is just uh, a, a robot which is disguised, disguised in the face of human. And those dinosaurs, those little funky dinosaurs, they are made like that in order to provide the wow effect that Dr. Sanjeev told us about. But would it be successful? I mean, would it be successful to have a fully automated hotel? That's what we are going to know later. So, our basic topic, the impact of COVID-19 on the adoption of artificial intelligence. COVID-19 provided robotics and smart automation technologies with a global platform to show off their value. The pandemic has undeniably turned the hospitality sector on its head upside down, accelerating the adoption of technology. Amidst the, the pandemic and beyond, artificial intelligence becomes essential for a, profit, a profitable long-term strategy 
more than just a funky new Im implementation or just a wow effect that to, to attract guests' eyes or to be catchy for guests, and also more than an option which can be adopted or neglected. It becomes a necessity. Change is vital. Uh, the impact of COVID-19 on the adoption of AI is, co is concrete through many uh, factors. The first factor is tackling labor fluctuations. With revenues down and countless restaurants closed, it's critical to find feasible ways for doing more with less resources. Owners and managers of hotels and restaurants who are unable financially to bring back their full capacity or their full complement of the staff are relying on artificial intelligence technology to supplement. And here we are saying to supplement, not to totally substitute, to supplement existing staff and facilitate almost everything with ordering and providing products and services. The second part, which is uh, related to, uh, the, 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 uh, to the disease itself, is minimizing due to human touch points to prevent contagion. Across the AI trends and functions that we have seen 10, years, 10, 10, minutes, sorry, 10, 10 minutes ago, uh, everything about AI is about decreasing human contact. Uh, when uh, scientists, when uh, pioneers of AI were, were thinking about that, they were not thinking about decreasing the human contact uh, because of a pandemic. They were thinking about that to facilitate things for the guests or for the client or for, for human beings. So uh, it tends to be good during pandemic where you need to keep a, social, a safe social distance from other guests or from other humans. Either they are other guests or either they are employees. Substituting direct contact functions with contactless alternatives. Using the above mentioned capacities for checking in, checking out, ordering, and obtaining services and products. Even though for those who like to deal with cash, even for cash paying guests, free spending countertops solutions, accept cash, and even dispense change as needed. Users who like to pay with cash, you uh, never have to interact directly with a cashier. Thus, decreasing or minimizing the human contact. Also, contactless food services in restaurants using robots, I mean robots that deliver uh, food, item, uh, food items, conveyor uh, belts, uh, ordering through your, through your mobile or ordering through the tablet, which is built in the table, which is sanitized after each use. Also, the guest room mini bar that will automatically bill the guests for you when bottles or confectionery are withdrawn from the bar because there are sensors under each part of, of, the, of, uh, of the bottles or confectionery so that they feel that if you take something away for more than 10 seconds, it uh, provides, it, it uh, transforms the, the cost or the charge to your folio. And also, which uh, a, a very good uh, uh, impact of COVID-19 on the adoption of AI is facilitating customer tracking. There, there is uh, AI-powered remote fever screen devices and cameras that opt for notifications to management. I mean, such cameras monitor. I mean, you don't need to uh, use those manual uh, uh, devices to check the, the temperature of each one. You can just have thermo cameras or thermal devices that check the, the temperature of uh, entering guests and they give notification to management or set off an alarm or even can deny access if an increased temperature is detected for a customer. In some countries where COVID-19 incidences have spiked, hotels and restaurants are required to keep daily log of customers for 30 days, including telephone and email information and whatever contact information, when they came into the establishment. The intent or the aim of that is to assist health authorities in notifying others when they may have come into contact with someone who was infected. A recent study uh, of 
9th of 2020 from Honeywell. Honeywell is uh, 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 an AI uh, uh, specialized company. Uh, that study found that more than half of US companies are willing to increase their automation investment. I mean, do you remember that study that was two years ago that says that at most hoteliers, about 76, something like that, uh, of hoteliers are, are invested and uh, were and are planning to invest in AI. Now in 2020, more than half of the US companies are willing to increase even their investment that is direct to automation to survive marketing changes brought by COVID-19. This is the new normal. This is change, the inevitable change. However, and here we are going to talk about some drawbacks of artificial intelligence. It's not just, it's not actually drawbacks, but uh, if you are a kind of someone who are going blindly behind a trend, then you will, you, you, you need to see that, however, in front of you. AI does open doors for increased guest engagement. The focus, can, but however, the focus tends to be limited to some physical requests are limited requests. Guests are not being a channel to truly and genuinely express their emotions and opinions on their current stay. Artificial intelligence solutions are unable to act outside of their programmed parameters for handling immediate requests and frequently asked questions, meaning that they cannot adopt to unanticipated situations. Moreover, the initial investment and maintenance costs associated with artificial intelligence solutions and devices can be high and can be prohibitive for many companies and many establishments. Here, let's uh, be back again to the Nordic AI uh, uh, Association uh, with the, its CEO, Stephen Pratt, who said something which is very interesting there are a lot of companies that are doing things that are more flashy, like robots in the entryway of the lobby. As we have seen, you remember, that Hena Hotel. However, the real deal, the real revolution is that what data is used to make valuable, meaningful decisions concerning pricing, inventory, and staffing. But you know, still, artificial intelligence solutions rely on historical data, which are now nearly useless due to the dramatic changes in human behaviors due, our, due to COVID-19. I mean, your plans concerning application is not now as before due to COVID-19. So the historical data that a hotel keeps about you is now useless. Thus, still, human judgment and emotional involvement are determined as necessary. Thus, rage against the machine, like we see in, in science fiction movies, rage against the machine has been raised in Hilla, the, the world's first lobby, the, the world's first uh, report hotel, fully automated hotel, which fired, dismissed. I mean, also, we all hear about cases in which some hotels and restaurants fired their human employees. But in that very case, the hotel fired half of its reports after they annoyed and delayed the human staff and guests and undermined and the efforts of employees to satisfy guests. It turns out that even robots cannot enjoy job security. In fact, according to a research conducted in 2018 by Starfleet Research in, part in, in partnership with Oracle Hospitality, that research we have uh, referred to earlier, but I I start I I preferred to take that uh, uh, statistics of that study to end the however part. Uh, Eighty six percent of hoteliers agree that AI improves employee satisfaction. It doesn't improve guest satisfaction. We're not talking about guests. We are talking about employees themselves. Why and how they satisfy employees? I mean, many 
of us have that bad idea about artificial intelligence that will that it will uh, it will I mean uh, result in firing and dismissing uh, many of our uh, waiters and many of, uh, of our front desk agents and so on. But in fact, let's see again that result. 86 of hoteliers agree that artificial intelligence improved employee satisfaction by freeing employees to focus on high value and high and unmindful uh, tasks and by enhancing their knowledge and performance. So finally, what should we do? I mean, as hoteliers and especially as uh, students and graduates of hospitality and tourism programs, is it really a threat? Let us see. As we, as we see in, in, in that photo, uh, the, cameraman, the cameraman and the pilot and all support services lost their jobs. But there is now a cameraman who is just operating a drone. The key answer is to upgrade yourself. Upgrade yourself to be the cameraman who can deal with drones. Go, go if you are a cameraman, go to the Google, go to the internet and see how drones are operated. If you are intended, for example, to be a cameraman, to so that you are not being absolute, you are not being uh, determined as being invalid for the labor force anymore. You have to upgrade yourself. While it is true that some jobs will inevitably be automated and some human workers be displaced, the impact of the smart automation technologies on employment is unlikely to be as awful as articles tend to predict on the internet. AI not only decreases the guest's wait time, but also it frees the human agents, it frees our, our time, it frees your time as hospitality graduates and hospitality students to focus on more complicated and human related manners. And that's what you have to start to read about. That's what you have to, to, to start to, to, to go through, the more complicated human related manners. How can I translate data? How can I translate historical data about the guests? How can I keep up with uh, the changes in the world and apply them to the historical data in order to predict what would the guest needs? Artificial intelligence, of course, it enables you to do that, but it cannot do all of that because there is one part which is emotional part and emotional intelligence. AI, let's see about uh, that uh, various quote. Uh, Deepali Pat, uh, he is uh, the CEO of MindBridge AI Corporation. He said, AI is here to enhance the capability of human beings. Do you remember the first quote that we have started with? The first quote of the CEO of Google that computers or AI is assisting us to go through our, our day. It's not substituting us. Here we come again to a similar quote. AI is here to enhance your own capability. They get the tech out of the way. They get the complications out of the way so humans can achieve greater heights. And as more companies come to realize the value of this new hybrid workforce mo model, uh, model, I believe that it will be far more common and spread in the coming years. So you as a hospitality student and you as a hospitality graduate, you have to excel in customer service. You have to read about customer service. You have to read about how, uh, I mean, how to uh, 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 interpret and how to justify your uh, sales decisions and your uh, your pricing decisions and staffing decisions. It's not just that you are being reactive. Now, artificial intelligence provides you with so many information, but, but you just have to read on how to translate them, how to reflect on them in order to make pricing decisions and packaging decisions. What can I, what can I offer in my hotel? What package can I offer? What meal plan can I offer for that guest or for that family and so on. So as 
hospitality student and teacher and hospitality graduate, you have to excel in customer service. But still, you have, in order not to be absolute, in order not to be invalid, you have to be familiar with new technology. And by that part, I have ended my presentation. Uh, thanks so much for, uh, for being up with me. I am so glad and honored that you have been patient with me uh, all the time. And now uh, the, the stage is open for any questions or for any uh, inputs or suggestions from you. Thanks so much again. Uh, thank you, Professor, uh, for your nice uh, information. Uh, there is a question uh, come from um, some Mr. Adil Hassan that he is asking that can we use artificial intelligence in each and every field? Right, Professor? Right, I'm reading. Uh, I'm reading the, the the question in the in the in the chat. Uh, can we use artificial intelligence? Uh, thanks, Adil Hassan, for that question. Of course, artificial intelligence can be used in, in every field. Uh, you can uh, search for something which is called uh, int I -O -T, I -O -T, which is Internet of Things, where you can uh, uh, use Internet to, uh, and, uh, to uh, I mean, to, to cover Internet with artificial intelligence uh, for smart homes, uh, for, uh, for, health, uh, for health services, and for many other things. I mean, your, even your mobile, it contains the Google Assistant or, what, or the Cortana Assistant in Windows and similar things in, in Apple. I mean, this is all uh, uh, applications of, uh, uh, of uh, artificial intelligence that can be applied in everything. I mean, even those, I mean, even now cars, uh, we have seen some virtual cars, uh, virtual copies of cars, not for, uh, I mean, for, uh, for commercial uh, base, right? until now, that can uh, move with uh, voice orders, with voice uh, recognition. And I see other questions, uh, reports from uh, Ariash Malik, uh, robots make unemployment too. Of course, but now, as we have seen of the Hilla uh, uh, hotel example, that uh, robots are, can be just used as a wow effect in, in the organization and some kind of funky, funky and flashy element in the organization. And it is used for basic functions. What are the, what are, like when you go into, for example, a shopping mall, and then you find an interactive map. That's the point, is that to, to give you the basic information about the hotel facilities and the hotel uh, uh, outlets and their operating hours and what services do they provide and maybe also about uh, uh, local attractions and local services like trains and buses and, and so on. But it cannot uh, be your substitute. And then we have uh, uh, Mr. Osman. Uh, he's saying thank you so much for the nice presentation. Thanks to, to you. And then we have a question which says, what if someone try, tries to hack the AI system and steal them some vital information? It's uh, a very uh, important note, and thanks for that. I mean, that he is an anonymous and, uh, attendee. I, do, uh, I, I hope that he, do not, that he does not hack us as well uh, right now. Uh, but I mean, what if someone can hack your own bank? I mean, the possibility for hacking is, uh, is, is uh, someone can hack your own, your own mobile, someone can hack us right now. So you are not doing something like that until you established a very strong ground of security. And yes, you are right, because uh, face recognition and, thing, and fingerprints and so on, they can easily be applied uh, or, or uh, I mean, or even, I mean, uh, imported and reused for uh, fraudulent uh, purposes, but this applies to banks. It applies to your own mobile and your own data and your own privacy. I mean, if you, ha if you are not having a good security system in your own mobile, if the camera, the front camera may work or the back camera and it may give a picture of all what you are doing in your daily life. That's uh, the point. Uh, and uh, Mr. Nishant Kumar, 
uh, we have a question. Sir, doesn't AI affect the, the employability? And can this be accurate as human skills? Of course, this is also a good, a good question, but uh, uh, if you go back to the, the presentation, uh, it will affect the employability, but it will affect the employability of low skilled labor. So that's why I have said that in order to be a good cameraman, it's not just about carrying a camera on your shoulder. You have to be a cameraman who can operate the drone and get the, the perfect image and the perfect shot. So they cannot be as accurate, of course, and they cannot be as intelligent, as, as emotional as you. Uh, no, I won't. No, I won't. And my name is uh, Tar uh, Tar you, you going? You, you are going not to uh, to hack us. Thanks so much for putting us at ease. Uh, and will AI be uh, the lock that keeps our personal data safe? Uh, it's again uh, uh, related to the security uh, question. Uh, it might be the lock, or it might be. The open door. It depends upon the security. It depends on cyber security systems. It's not related to AI. I mean, I can, uh, as I said, even if you, your apartment, if you didn't lock your door, something can can hack you in. So AI solutions and AI uh, capacities and AI uh, uh, implementation is something, and the security is another thing. You have to implement security first. And always what, when we say safety first, when you are going to, to uh, when someone is going to drive uh, his car to travel somewhere, you always say safety first, even when doing something basic, like just driving a car. So safety first in order to lock everything before uh, the artificial intelligence. Also we have, uh, good afternoon everyone, good afternoon to you, Sima. Uh, I wanted uh, to, as what can be, the demerits of AI and can we be fully dependent? Uh, uh, of course, I mean, let's about being dependent. Can you now live without your smartphone? Can you tell that uh, you are now extra dependent in your smartphone? Actually, yes, somehow you are dependent on your own smartphone because it has many, uh, 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 many notes, many pictures, uh, messaging with everyone. I mean, instead of, 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 of using that old phone to call people or old uh, 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 feature phone like with, with buttons like old Nokia and so on. So you are now really dependent even on TV. You are dependent on, 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 I mean, on the simplest things to go on in your life. So the point is you can have, um, uh, you can plan for this dependency in order to be independent. Uh, you can have, uh, uh, you can have, I mean, um, uh, plan B uh, and to have a reserve of uh, emergency. Uh, you can save data on, on hard drives that are away uh, from hacking that are uh, offline. I mean, you can, you can make an update to them each two days or something like that and keep them offline so that no one can hack them. There are many cyber security options that security people can say about that more than me. And of course, there are demerits. If you, it, it depends upon you. There is, there is someone who stays on Facebook just one hour per day. And there is someone who is crazy about Facebook and he spends hours and hours and hours on Facebook. It depends on you. How AI satisfy the site uh, challenged uh, customers? Uh, uh, it may be uh, that we have, uh, I, I didn't uh, have, um, I mean, I didn't uh, tackle something like that before, but I guess that using mobiles, uh, it can use infrared uh, so that uh, those who have some side problems can, can help them. Uh, but I guess it doesn't, uh, uh, I mean, uh, relate too much to our topic, which is hospitality and tourism. And after two years, uh, Rohit Kumar, after two, uh, sorry, 10 years, maybe robot take all places as like man. No, I don't think it would happen. We have responded to that before. Uh, thanks for the answer. I have another question from uh, Nishant Kumar regarding the pandemic. Like you said, AI will be a better way to provide services. It's not a better way. It is uh, uh, something that helps you. Uh, I mean, like when you are opening a doorknob and you get a small tissue from your bucket to, to open that doorknob. 
try to think of AI as that do, as that tissue, as, the, as something that keeps you away from handling, from I mean, from getting close to people, and something that keeps you socially distant from other people in order to keep your, in order to protect yourself and your family. That's uh, the the main use of uh, I, I mean, and also. Uh, if you are entering a restaurant, if you are entering uh, uh, a hotel, then if that restaurant or that hotel or that establishment, whether is whether even it is a governmental uh, place, uh, you will feel uh, I mean uh, relax if there is some kind of thermal camera that makes sure that people are uh, are not sick. That's why that's the point. Uh, of course, we are facing a recession. And uh, artificial intelligence might uh, uh, increase that recession. But actually, that recession is not because of artificial intelligence, Nishant. It is because the people are afraid of being con uh, from, from the contagion itself. It's not about, it's not, uh, I mean, that much from uh, AI. Uh, uh, anonymous attendee says that he missed the first slide. Uh, the first slide was uh, the CEO of Google, he was saying that computers are uh, now the true, something like the true fact of, of life, and they are uh, a good assistant for the human being to help him go, go through his day. And we are going through, uh, from being a mobile only wallet to AI dependent wallet. That was the first, uh, the first slide is about. Is there any further questions from my dear students? As uh, we we have seen, uh, we have received the information from you that artificial cannot uh, replace uh, to the every humanity, every human being from the job. It may take over one portion, one step, maybe security part, maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, information sharing part or the tour or travel arrangement part they can do. But sometimes, you know, suddenly some uh, in hospitality sector, humans are known for their interactive things. When they are uh, interacting with the customer to resolve yeah. the problems. Here, I'm saying, if the suddenly problem comes to the customer or client or our guest, the yeah. human is specific problem. Because uh, artificial intelligence, are, they are the uh, programmed one they will give the program answer, which is the information already fed it. Exactly. How can we, uh, how, is it possible to, they will be able to deal with the human specific problem, which is required lots of the interactive sessions with the uh, client, customer, guest, is it? Uh, very good question. And I guess uh, Hema Hotel in Japan, that fully automated uh, hotel, uh, uh, has already answered or partially answered your question yes, by, by firing half of the reports. And these reports are basically for, for, for this. I mean, if you are a normal guest and you just want to check in, then you can just check in and register and then sign uh, the, the, the registration card. But if you have uh, a, a problem, if you have your kids, uh, if you are coming from a long trip, then that's the importance of having a, a human disk agent who can re, who can recognize that you are tired, who can recognize that you are sweating, who can recognize that you have a lot of luggage, who can recognize that your kids need something. I mean, then he can uh, uh, ask for uh, for a restaurant uh, uh, a waiter to get you some welcome drink uh, if you came early before. Uh, the check-in time, uh, he can uh, be, be, uh, take your luggage and put it in the luggage room if all rooms are, are uh, I mean, are uh, busy, and then he can guide you uh, to uh, uh, an air-conditioned place or to a, the swimming pool, or give you uh, a free, uh, uh, some free hour in the swimming pool, some free, some free simple cocktails to soothe you, to soothe you down. Uh, I mean, the, uh, and, and here uh, comes the importance of the emotional intelligence of, of us as human beings. As, as such, as I told you, uh, 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 human uh, uh, robots in that Hela uh, full automated or, or, or fully robotic hotel, uh, it was not uh, answering all guests' needs. It was not answering 
uh, all, all, all uh, even it was denying uh, the human uh, employees' efforts to satisfy guests because each time the guest has to ask and then the robot doesn't have the answer, then a human being has come to be in place and show up and show up in order to help the guest. All that takes time, takes effort, and takes money for operating. And that's why uh, it's, uh, uh, as uh, uh, we have seen through the quotes uh, along uh, our uh, presentation, that uh, AI and computers and uh, that uh, high-end uh, technological cap uh, technical capacities, they are here to help us improve our service. They are not here to substitute us. I hope uh, I have answered your questions. Yeah, one more point I would like to add to what uh, Dr. Nabil has just now explained. See, uh, Professor Jay and all my students, uh, there are two things which are very, very important for our industry, especially when we deal with human emotions. So hospitality industry is the one who deals only with human emotions. Exactly. Whether you are serving a food or you, whether you are allocating a room or a... A room with a great view. We all are dealing with human emotions. So there are two things to it. One is the efficiency part and one is the technology part. Now the technology part which we are now talking about artificial intelligence, please understand my dear students that artificial intelligence is not to take over us. Artificial intelligence is only helping us to improve and be more efficient in rendering this service to our guest. Suppose we, in a, in a hotel, a very small example, we, if we take the data of the last five years, the guests who are checking in and checking, checking out. So we want to find that how many guests has uh, used our hotel room and what are their preference? What did they enjoy last time? So for this, for human beings to find out, we need to spend 10, 15 days going through all the data to find out. But when we have an artificial intelligence in place for data analysis, so within split of a second, uh, your artificial intelligence will take you, uh, Dr. Nabil and uh, Professor Paul, both of them visited your hotel 10 times and these were their preference. So these are the dates when they have visited. So these are the informations which will always help us to again render our services to our guests in a much better and efficient way. And right. it is never going to take away the jobs of human beings in the industry. Exactly. It will only help us to create a better service and efficient environment in all the hotels. That's all I need. And thanks for your, for your valuable contribution, Dr. Sanjeev. Right. Thank you. Sir, I don't have any question. Do you have anything or, or shall I go for that? Uh, I think uh, we are running also short of time. So I think uh, Sonkarji, uh, you can uh, have a word of thanks and uh, thank you once more from my side, uh, Dr. Nabil and once well, we open, we would like to have uh, many more sessions with you wherever possible. Inshallah. And let's see how best we can uh, try collaborating with uh, Alexandria University also and see that yeah. is if there are any scope of uh, research exchange or exchange of knowledge from our side and also from your side. Mm -hmm. we look forward to a much more uh, fruitful relationship with you and your university. Thank yes, you sir. so much once more for taking out your time. Right, right sir. Uh, 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 thank you, uh, Professor Navin sir. Thank you, Director sir. On the behalf of our Ministry University Rajasthan, our on the behalf of our Chancellor sir, Dr. Asim Chauhan sir, uh, Pro VC Professor Dr. Amit Jain sir, from the Dean Academy Dr. G K sir, sir, and our Director Dr. Sanjeev Pal sir. sir. Uh, on the behalf of them, I would like to give you thanks uh, for enlightening us, uh, our uh, sharing the such a great information knowledge. And I'm thankful to each and every faculty members and support staff of the Admiralty School of Hospitality for making this webinar successful. And uh, uh, I will uh, I, I cannot close this webinar before appreciating the you know supporting team, uh, information technology and uh, digital marketing team that who has uh, uh, contributed for uh, uh, to make it successful. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. You are most welcome and thanks. It's an honor to be with you today. Yeah, same. Thank you. Can I close the session, sir? Yes. Sure, sure. Thank you, Rahul Ji. Thank you.